Hi everybody, it's spring with soaps and suds and such and today I am making creams, skin cream. Um, this is an er, er, well it's got essential oils in it. It's more of a natural. Um, but normally I use a different recipe to make this one. Now I've changed my recipe and I think it's going to work out better. Uh, for the cream itself and um, you know there was a, a few things in there that I didn't want to include so I have changed the recipe and I've got my oils in here and um, I've all except for the shea which is over here um, because I don't want to uh, melt it in heat I like to melt it in the oils itself and uh, I'm going to go ahead and melt my oils get my water ready and then we'll get started okay I've got my oils melted uh, now when I weighed my oils what you're going to want is a scale that zeroes out now I tend to weigh everything in um, grams whenever I make creams or soaps or anything Thing like that um, so you need a scale that zeroes out all I do is place my container onto my scale and then I will do each oil on my recipe list um, zero out do one do the first oil zero out after it do the next oil zero out after it and so on I do not like I said my shea butter I don't heat it in the microwave or in a double broiler I like to put it right down into the oils themselves after I have melted them um, I tend to do that also with like um, a lot of other butters too let's get all that out of there and um, See, I plan on using the um, KitchenAid doing this one. So I just want to keep stirring that and get that melted. Um, that is my shea butter. I don't want anything left in there. You know, I want it all melted down. And then I will be putting this into the KitchenAid. Um, water. If you're using water. I use distilled water. I do not use sink water. Our sink water is not decent enough to even drink. So we don't drink it. We drink distilled water. Uh, so I'll be using distilled water to make this cream. Um, you do want to heat your water at least like a minute or so in the uh, microwave um, add whatever else you're going to be adding to the water if you're adding something like I add uh, hydrolyzed silk uh, hydro and let's see what else oh pearl powder excuse me um, this one I'm also going to be putting uh, glycerin in and um, some sodium lactate to it so Looks like I've got that melted. So I'm going to switch that over to the KitchenAid and I will bring you back. Okay, my oils is in my KitchenAid. Um, I've got my water here. I already got my additives in it. I did warm it like I told you. You don't want to put it in there from cold. So that was warmed. Had all the additives in it. I'm going to start blending.
and this is my oils and water. I haven't put any preservative in there yet or any essential oils. This one here has a lot of essential oils. It's a blend that I do, so. Um, and it has to be at the right temperature to put in your preservative and your essential oils. So, you should always read um, by whatever preservative you are using to see what the degree is. Okay. I still have um, actually two more oils that, well, uh, besides my fragrance oil, I have two more oils that does go in there, but I'm putting such a well, it's not a tiny amount, but small enough to where I don't need to, or I don't weigh it. We'll put it that way. That's just by my choice. And the oils, you know, are uh, rose hip and emu oil. I'm going to cut this up. put in my rose hip oil I don't put a whole lot so that's why I just do it this way Pour the emu oil in. Okay. And I don't put a whole lot of it, just enough for this recipe. So once I have that where I want it, and I do, now I'm going to put it back to. Okay, now it's time for um, to check our temperature. Make sure it's cool enough for a preservative. Let's see. Let me get this thing right. And I'm still just using the cooking thermometer so need to get me one of those guns that everybody else uses I just haven't okay we're below the temperature of the preservative so we're fine for essential oils too 
we're going to put our preservative in there. Get that in there. Every bit of it. Also stir again around the sides because we want preservative in all of our cream. If you don't have preservative, then in my opinion, you would have to keep it. I mean, I, I you could keep it in the refrigerator and not use the preservative. this cream with this recipe I'm not sure because I have plenty of people who buy this cream now if I get back good response yes Okay, time for our essential oil blend. And you can see that. This is a blend that I do. I want to get every bit of that I can out of there. I don't like wasting products um, you know that you buy to put into your products are not cheap. Plus, you want to get all the goodness you can in there for the customers who buy your products. Okay, one drop hanging on. Let me see if I can scrape this at all. Because I have got um, myrrh in this. And myrrh, if you've ever used it, it's rather thick. A little bit thick, so... Kind of sticky, honestly. Okay, I've got that in there now. I'm just going to do a gentle bl blend. Scrape. This cream is loaded loaded with some good oils.
Okay, now I'm going to get ready to put it in the containers. Okay, containers. There's several ways you can do them. You can either mix a little bit of bleach um, in some water and rinse the containers that way, let them dry, um, spray them with 91% alcohol. You could wash them in a hot water bath um, with um, some, you know, like Dawn or something. Um, and then spray them with 91% alcohol. Many people just take them straight from the bag, spray them with 91% alcohol. That's totally up to you. I have my own way of doing it, and as many people do. But uh, I've got my containers ready, so I'm going to be moving you over and start putting it into the containers. I'll bring you back. Okay, I've got a container there, and um, I've got a big spoon here, if you can see. I'm just going to start putting the cream in there, like so. So far, I like the looks of the cream. looks very luxurious, silky. And you fill your container. Um, I like to beat them down. So there, it's not a lot of air bubbles because I do a lot of blending, as you noticed, with the KitchenAid. So I can have loads of air bubbles and I don't want those in there getting trapped. So I'm going to get my spoon to stay in place if I can. It's wanting to move. Actually, this smells wonderful. Look around your container to make sure your air bubbles are out after you beat it. It's washing it. I want it to be full. These are 8 ounce containers. Okay. So there we go, we have it. And I will get a paper towel, clean up around the edge. I will not lid these yet. I'm going to fill up the rest of the containers. Uh, I like to let them cool. You should let them cool before you put the lids on. Okay, I almost forgot to show how it goes into the skin of my arm here and some of the cream. Goes in really good, if you can see. Really good. And it doesn't feel greasy at all. No greasy feel. So that's good. I like that. And there's what it looks like. So I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day and happy soaping and happy cream making.